They've got a saying here in Richmond, it's what lies beneath. And so it is, there are stories that have lain beneath this ground for millions of years that are here on display in Kronosaurus Corner that are part of the prehistoric story of Richmond and part of the heritage of Australia. This is Kronosaurus queenslandicus, the apex predator of the Eramanga Sea. Here we have the bottom jaw of a sub-adult, and you can see it in comparison with that of the jaw of a saltwater crocodile. Now, some of these jaws could get to be three meters in length when they were grown up, and with teeth the size of the largest bananas you've ever seen. Here we see its big fat belly and one of its flippers. Now, if we were to turn those rocks over, we'd be able to see what it actually had for its lunch. Also inside their stomachs, we find these gastroliths. They help them to mash up their food, but also help them with buoyancy as well. This is an ichthyosaur nicknamed Wilson. Now, why would you call it such a thing? Well, it's named after the family who discovered it. And here's the lesson. Always keep your eyes open when you're looking at the ground, because you never know what you might find. This here is an ichthyosaur that was found on a grazing property, much as it is here in Richmond. But have a look here. Right here are the vertebrae of a young ichthyosaur. And what it tells us and reminds us is, of course, that ichthyosaurs gave birth to live young. Of course, it's not just pliosaurs, plesiosaurs, and ichthyosaurs. This is Cuyu australis, one of the many kinds of fish that would have lived in the Eramanga Sea. This is Penne. She's a Pollock Island. And if we have a closer look at some of the bones, there are some secrets that she'll reveal for us. Right on that vertebrae where you see the arrow, there are signs of arthritis. It tells us that perhaps maybe Penny was quite old. Right here at the end of Penny's snout, we can see a tooth mark, maybe from a Kronosaurus. And right here where you can see some of her skull missing, that may well have been from the same bite. There are many more stories that lie beneath the ground. And here, just up the road from Kronosaurus Corner, you can even come and help look for them. That's the prehistoric story of this place. What's the story of where you live?